You're on. Uh, yeah, we were talking about the University of Minnesota, and I have a good friend named Jay Beldo, who's written articles for Paranoia Magazine in the past. But he was a MK Ultra baby, and um, his father, I guess, was a doctor there, and interned under, uh, I guess his name is B.F. Skinner, and they were doing uh, isolation experiments, sensory deprivation experiments with children and infants, and he happened to be one of them. And uh, man, it just obviously it had a profound impact on his life, not a good one. And uh, he had to go through a lot of healing, and he's forgiven his father. But uh, man, you know, just to think, all those uh, different experiments that were done, not on a, just adults, but on infants, it's just crazy. But I, I've heard stories ever since I've delved into the, just the whole horrific reality of MK Ultra and trauma-based mind control. I've heard so many stories from so many survivors about what they went through, um, you know, as children. And actually, when I first heard about this back in 1992, I didn't, I was very skeptical about it because I was thinking, you know what, our government doesn't do that kind of stuff to kids, you know. But um, when the evidence was presented to me, and I'm talking about like empirical evidence, documents, uh, I had to rethink <laughs> and I had to overcome my cognitive dissonance and, and realize that in fact this stuff was going on. And if it was going on, why aren't we talking about it? Why isn't it being exposed? So I guess that was sort of my, part of my mission in life was to present this information, you know, in a objective manner and uh, I put out an article in Paranoia Magazine in, the, in uh, the fall of 1996 called Project Monarch Nazi Mind Control which really got into the whole you know trauma based mind control program by the CIA it started back in the late 40s and uh, names a lot of places a lot of uh, military installations hospitals um, universities all over the country and some of the uh, people who are involved uh, as programmers too. So once I got that article out, man, the floodgates open. You know, I get a lot of phone calls, a lot of people, uh, you know, corresponding with me through mail and uh, yeah, my, my life hasn't been the same since, but um, you know, it's been encouraging to see that uh, the, even though the information flow hasn't been quite as good as I'd like it, you know, there's been a lot of disinformation and misinformation about it. But uh, I think for most, for most of the part, um, there's been a lot of good uh, books, um, such as uh, Kathleen Sullivan's Unshackled, you know, her story. Her personal story about being involved in MK Ultra, and then also Carol Roots, um, who put out a book called *A Nation Betrayed*, and you know that book's full of uh, documentation through the Freedom of Information Act, and uh, it just dovetails with so many other survivors' stories. Uh, there was another book, <clears throat> which I can't find anymore. I don't know what happened to it. It's by uh, Annie McKenna called *Paperclip Dolls*. But, uh, yeah, so that's about it. <laughs> Thank you, Ron.